The original diesel engine, named after inventor Rudolf Diesel, actually ran on vegetable oil. Changes in the design of diesel engines over the years required a different fuel, with more energy output and less gelling in colder weather than vegetable oil. Hence, petroleum-based diesel gained popularity over oil. The number one environmental concern about diesel fuel is it emits harmful pollutants into the air. Biodiesel is a replacement fuel for diesel engines made out of animal fats or vegetable oil. The advantages of biodiesel are that it's not derived from fossil fuels but can be made from local crops. It lowers greenhouse gas emissions and the production and sale of biodiesel generates a domestic fuel economy. The University of Idaho is one of the pioneers of biodiesel research, having over 30 years of experience working with biodiesel fuel. At the University of Idaho Biodiesel Education Program Farm Scale Production Facility, we make biodiesel from a variety of feedstock. Most of the time we either make biodiesel from waste vegetable oil, gathered from the Sodexo kitchens at the university, or we extract the oil ourselves with our seed oil press. Let's take a moment to examine our standard recipe for making biodiesel. This is production specialist Joe Thompson, your biodiesel chef for the day. To make biodiesel, you remove the impurities of the fat or oil and change its viscosity so that it can burn in a normal diesel engine without mucking up the fuel lines. You do that through a chemical reaction called transesterification. Transesterification is the biodiesel making process and is simply a reaction of the vegetable oil and alcohol using a catalyst to speed the reaction. The process is relatively simple. Add a certain amount of alcohol to your catalyst, combine the mixture with your feedstock, then heat and agitate for a short period of time. The result is a layer of biodiesel and a layer of glycerin. Remove the glycerin by draining it off the bottom and then use a wash process to remove contaminants. The co-product glycerin has a lot of other uses like making soap, but that's another topic. Our method of making biodiesel is a two-reaction process, meaning we perform these steps twice. First, we want to make sure our feedstock is suitable for making quality biodiesel. That means we want fats or oils with a low free fatty acid content of the feedstock oil. Waste oil can be high in free fatty acids, while freshly pressed canola oil, for instance, is very low in FFA content and makes an ideal feedstock for biodiesel. The more FFA in the biodiesel, the more catalyst you must use and the more soap you'll have to clean out of your finished biodiesel. Second, we create a mixture of methanol with a catalyst like sodium methylate. The catalyst can burn the skin and methanol vapors are harmful to breathe and flammable, so the use of either requires safety precautions. We only add 80% of the alcohol catalyst mixture for the first reaction. Heat the entire mixture and agitate. We're using a heat regulation unit with a thermocouple and are agitating the mix with a paint paddle on a heavy duty drill stand. After an hour, we let the product sit for about 30 minutes. The heavier glycerin settles to the bottom. We drain off as much of the glycerin as we can, add the remaining 20% catalyst mixture and heat and agitate again. Once the second reaction is finished and the glycerin has settled, we drain off the glycerin co-product. The remaining liquid is biodiesel. However, it still has some excess methanol, catalyst, and other impurities mixed in. There are several wash methods, but we prefer to use a dry wash method, filtering the biodiesel through ion exchange beads. The finished biodiesel is a high quality fuel ready to use in any diesel engine. Visit our website at www.biodieseleducation.org for more information. We're on Facebook and Twitter too.